Hey everyone, this is a Crypto Sailors channel. Today I will show you how to install and configure the Lava Network project and as like a bonus to this video, I will show you how to configure several Cosmos networks on one node. I believe it can be very useful for you to know how you can do that in the future when you will want to deploy additional testnet or mynet project on your server. The current testnet of the Lava Network project is not incentivized, but you can configure the testnet node that you can to be a part of the project. Also, you can configure RPC nodes as like Ethereum, Osmosis, and other which Lava Network support. But keep in mind, unfortunately, not everyone can be become an RPC provider since it is performed by the team in manual mode after their approval. To install the Lava Network project, you need a light addition of the server type, because it is required only 4 CPU cores, 8 GB of RAM and 100 GB of the free disk space. Since it will be additional project which I will be used together with other Cosmos networks, in this case I'm using a dedicated server Ryzen 5 type which I rented on Webtopia. Also, I would like to recommend to use the Mobile Xterm tool to connect on your server VSH to perform installation process of the Lava network. And now you see is how the server console looks after connecting to it. First of all, we need to create a separate user for our project because when you install several projects on one node, you need to isolate files of each project from each other. It's like a best practice which based on the system engineer's experience. This help us to keep the things more organized on our server, because in the future you can mix up configuration files, directories, etc. So let's create lava user on our server. You need to type sudo add user lava and press enter. Then you need to type the password. Press enter for all questions and press yes. Now we need to add our user to the sudo group. So we need to, to type sudo user mode dash a g sudo lava press enter and the second command add user to the system CTL journal group. It is uh, necessary that our Lava user can view journal of the Lava service in the future. After this, let's move on to the Lava user shell. In this case, in the command line, the name of the root user will be changed to the Lava. So type sudo su Lava and press enter. Please not. After login as Lava user, you will enter by default on the directory which you used as root user. So we need to enter cd command to enter to the home directory of the Lava user. And if we open the folder tree, it will look something like this. And as you may see here, it is all projects which have already installed it on my node. And this is our Lava directory, which was created automatically after creating user, and we will use it to install our project. So let's open our documentation and begin the installation process. And copy this command and paste to the console. Waiting once it has been installed, then copy the second command and paste it on the console. Then uh, copy this block to change environment variables for the user profile. Then we need to install the Golang Go tool. Open this guide. Copy the first section to unpack archive and install Golang tool. Then we need to copy the second section to change profile environment and remove the old archive file back to the main document copy this section to download lava repository and perform installation process of the lava project 
it take some time so wait once it has been completed open our main document and run the next command to initialize your node uh, but first back to home user directory and then copy this command uh, actually you may to change the option and use what do you want in my case i have type testnet done after this we need uh, to download genesis file and uh, move it to the config directory of our project and uh, then uh, we need to change settings for our node uh, to set the more preferred options for properly work of it just copy this section and paste to the console after this you need to download a snapshot but i want to clarify one thing since the cosmos network is updating from time to time you cannot just download the latest version of the current testnet and synchronize the node to the latest block what i mean is if you want to sync the project from scratch you need to download the first version of the binary file and synchronize your node up to specific block after this you need to download the next version and do it again and again up to the latest version of the binary file to get all blocks of the network and finally synchronize it but as an alternative thing to speed up the sync process of the node you may use a snapshot in this case you just need to install the latest release of the binary file then download snapshot and unpack it this is what we are going to do now so paste the command and wait while the download process has been completed copy the next command to unpack our archive file the unpacking process can take one or two minutes so just wait and then remove the archive file and the next section is optional and needs to apply if you are using several Cosmos nodes on your server to prevent a port conflict situation. Let me describe what I mean. The all Cosmos networks by default use uh, the standard port for leasing, which are described in the configuration files. And uh, if you are using several projects on one server, you need to change them. Uh, here is the example of config TML file where you can see the default port 26658 and uh, if you open the same file um, for another pro Cosmos project uh, you will see the same settings and uh, we need to change them if you want to use uh, several Cosmos networks on one server in our case uh, we will change first to uh, numbers using uh, the several commands which I prepared before but uh, of course you may adapt my command to change um, only one number of port so this is uh, up to you now back to our guide well uh, this command you can use for any Cosmos network not only Lava uh, the first uh, the variable Cosmos port you may set uh, any number that you want to use uh, usually uh, I use numbers ranging from beginning from 10 to 15 uh, this should be enough for your needs and uh, to make sure that uh, the port which you defined is not using before uh, I would like to recommend using SS command which will show you which ports are used on your server uh, in my case I will use the port range beginning with uh, uh, 12,000 uh, so I need to check if it's already using and uh, as you may see this range is not using for on my server so I just need to copy this command this block and paste on my console uh, well in this block of comments you should pay attention to the end of the line where the defined path to the configuration file of the lava project because 
uh, if you want to use these commands for another Cosmos network, you need to set the current name of the directory of this project. So in my case, I just uh, copy this section and paste to the console. And on this step, the configuration process has been completed. And now we need to create a system the file to run our project. Just copy this section and paste to the console. Now copy the following commands to start Lava service. After this, you should wait several minutes while the sync process is, is beginning. And uh, as you can see, the sync process is in progress right now. Okay, uh, then you may use the following command to check if the synchronization process is completed. Let's run this command to see what we get. Just paste and press enter. As you may see, we get the status true, which means that our node is under synchronization. When you got the false status, this means that our node is synchronized and is on the last block. So after this, you can begin to create your validator. Actually, to check the current lightest block, you may open Block Explorer. And as you may see, the current block 72,000. So we need to synchronize 8,000 blocks. Okay, uh, it appears our node was synced. Uh, to make sure, let's check our status and uh, run the following command. Just copy and paste. And as you can see, we got a false status, which means that our node has been synchronized. Okay, now we need to open our documentation to run several commands to create our validator. Uh, just want to let you know, unfortunately, when I'm creating this video, the faucet is not working. So you need to find someone who can provide you with at least several tokens to create your validator. Um, I don't know, I believe you can find some one person in the Discord chat. Now we need to create uh, our wallet. Uh, just press enter and uh, set the password. After this, you need to repeat it. And uh, as you may see, we have got our mnemonic phrase, which you need to save to the safe place and here is the address of our wallet which we created. Uh, I have already funded my wallet from the wallet of my main validator uh, just to show the whole process of the validator creating uh, for you. Actually, if you want to check the balance of your wallet, you can find this command in our crypto sellers main guide with the name Cosmos Common. You should find it in the section check your balance. Just copy it and paste to the console. Uh, you need to set the current name of the binary file and uh, set your wallet address uh, which we created before. And just select this line and paste it. Uh, as you may see, the current while it contains five tokens now we need to create our validator so back to our guide and uh, we need to copy this section uh, i would like to recommend copying it to the notepad to perform some changes uh, in our case uh, we need to change the moniker option this wallet affects with what name you will be displayed in the explorer so just set it test crypto sellers mm, then we need to check uh, other options uh, it looks good commissions and so gas uh, yep uh, it appears uh, all looks fine so copy this command and paste to the console set the password Confirm transactions and it appears the transaction has been performed successful. To make sure uh, now we need to copy TX hash and uh, open explore of the project. Paste 
our hash to the search line. It appears we need to wait several minutes until the information in the Explorer will be updated. After several minutes, our transaction is showing in the Explorer with the success status. Type creator validated for the taste crypto sellers not name. And if we click on the name, we will see the detailed information of our validator. As you may see, it has inactive status and it is normal because we don't have enough tokens to be in the active set and you need to have at least 17,000 tokens for this. Mm, unfortunately, while you don't have such amount of the tokens, uh, you will be located in the inactive set. But it, it is normal situation. And uh, as you can see, your wallet data is not in the jail. Okay, as this is my test note, when I finish the video, I will stop it. And after this, if you check an explorer, uh, it should be with the jail status. Mm, that's all. Stay tuned to our channel, put likes and subscribe to our Telegram channel, where you can find much useful news. Have a good day. Bye-bye.